My name is David Witten. I'm a computer programmer. I've been working with Vista since the 1980s. Um, let's see, I currently work for uh, North Carolina for the state government. We're trying to put uh, Vista into a local hospital there called Central Regional Hospital. Um, and I've been doing Vista type stuff uh, both in the private sector where I was working for the government, uh, the Veterans Hospital until September of this year, 2011, until um, like uh, as early as, like I said, I was involved with putting it in the VA in Houston when Vista first went into Houston, in Texas, in 1985, I think. So that's who I am. I was one of the founders of World Vista. Um, I've been involved with uh, Vista Expertise Network some. Um, hmm, I don't know. Um, I've been doing months a really long time since I was in college. I got involved with Vista originally because I was a grad student and I needed a job because I was a, I had just gotten into grad school and I'm doing various kinds of things and Mumps was a really good, a good kind of programming language and so I looked around for another job that was <laughs> that I liked to program in and Mumps was it and so I uh, went and worked for the VA so that was kind of cool and uh, then things changed I worked for Dow Chemical I worked for the Department of Defense where uh, well technically. SAIC, which was a contractor to the Department of Defense, where Tom worked. So that's how Tom knows who I am. And uh, then after that, I worked for National Health Labs, which became LabCorp of America, and worked again for the Veterans Administration for even more years. And like I said, then just in this September, I uh, changed jobs, left the federal government, to, um, and started working for the state government. Because I think VISTA is very powerful. It's important. Uh, I think it changes people's lives for the better. because you actually keep track of why, uh, not just why they're ill this time, but how do you keep people healthy? How do you keep track of trends? You personalize things to what they need, not just just general kind of a computer based on what time uh, you last saw them. You've got a, a much better kind of pulse, if you will, a way of, of seeing who somebody is. And Vista gives you that kind of a way of doing things. Hmm. What about, this? what about Vista Works? It's the people. I mean, we, we talk about computers all the time, right? And I can talk you all the wonderful things that Mumps gives you in Vista and what Fileman is great and how Mailman facilitates communication. All of these things are true, but what are they communicating with? You're communicating with people. People are talking to other people, and Vista gives you a way of tracking things in as inobtrusive way as possible. Right. The important thing is you're, you care about what's wrong with this person, what, not just now. I mean, they're here with a cough or something. You're worried about, you're concerned about, how do I help them become healthy long term? And Vista gives you a way of presenting the information in the way that you need it, but just as important, it gives you a way to communicate with other people that are interested in this same person. Right. Whether that person, in, in our, my context where I work now, whether that person is, tr is concerned with their mental health and their psychological well-being, or whether it's something was concerned about a gallbladder problem or a broken toe or whatever the ill of the day is for that person, you've got the people who care about them and they have a way of finding out what's going on in an intrusive way. Because you can focus on the patient and what the patient needs, long-term, short-term, all the different parts of their character, rather than focusing on, oh, I've got to type this into the computer. It's, the, the, from a programming perspective, Vista gives you a way of modeling what is going on with the person in uh, a way that fits naturally into the, the care or, or into the, the, the way you're describing what's going on. One of the things that I always use an example, Vista is based on a database handler which is called File Manager. George Timpson, incredibly smart guy, right? But what he did was he took the same problem space that an SQL engine uses and he looked at the capabilities of bumps and he realized that he didn't have to follow this kind of rows and columns kind of approach. What he could do is he could have rows and columns because that's a pretty natural thing for people. But in each of these places where the rows and the columns intersect, what you can do is put a whole other table there, right? So what you can do is you can have one row for this person's stuff Right? And then in this column where you naturally you want to have more information than just one thing, you can actually have a whole other table there. 
So like in, in one of these columns, you might have the date of birth. You only got one date of birth. It's not going to change. Uh, maybe some people were not quite sure when you were born because you were in the born in the back of a taxi cab or in the back country or something. But generally, you got a pretty good idea when somebody was born. But when you got something like an appointment, your appointments are con you've got multiple appointments. And if you don't have a data structure, if you don't have a way to tell the computer something that maps to the way people are and the way people experience, what you end up with is you end up with, well, you know, if we do a join and we cross-reference this thing, we can do the, you know, you get all too computery really fast. It's more important that your computer system doesn't get in the way of recording what you're trying to say about a person, right? And Vista gives you that, right? Vista gives you this ability. The, the file manager, the mumps, all that kind of stuff. It's not just, it's just a programming language, but it's a programming language that's powerful enough that as a programmer, you're not spending all your time saying, hmm, if I do this and I do that, and, well, maybe if I trick it this way, I'll, I can get it something done. You know, you don't even have to do, spend all your time doing things like, you know, if you have a list of things, as an example, you know, you want to keep them in order, right? I mean, it's a natural thing to do. I mean, I've been to a lot of computer classes, and one of the things that they always teach you is how to sort things, how to get things in order the fastest way, right? Well, if we do a chain sort, or we do a bubble sort, or we do a link sort, there's all kinds of ways to do this. Well, the advantage of doing things in, a, in mumps is you never have to worry about it. Because mumps says, I'm going to keep it in sorted order anyway. And so all you do is you just put it in there, and you let mumps take care of it. And what you end up with is you've got this thing where it's not getting in the way which is the important part, right? Because the important part is you're trying to get information in a way that makes a difference to the person who's actually dealing with it, right? One person might make it make more sense for them to get the most current dates first. But if you're looking at something where you're looking at how the disease has progressed, or this is the seventh time this guy has broken his ankle, why? You know, if you don't have that information in some kind of consecutive ordered kind of way, you won't know it's the seventh time you've broken his ankle. You know, you, and then you won't ask these questions. Why exactly are you playing run, tackle football at the age of 72? You know, you, know, the, you know, there's reasons why. And a lot of times, computer people and non-computer people focus on a process or they focus on a regulation or a rule and they don't focus on the why. If you focus on why things happen, things different, things change. Right? And that's the kind of the fun thing about doing stuff in healthcare is because it matters. Right? I mean, I'm sure that if I was a turtle doctor or if I was a herpetologist or whatever thing it was, I'd be real caring about the turtle population on some island where the ma major turtles go to. But most of us aren't turtle doctors. Most of us are people that are living our lives and we care about our friends. We care about that kind of circles of health. And the people that are around us that care about us, we should have a way of interacting with them. And that's part of what it means to store things, do things in a way that's effective, that makes a difference. So that's part of the reason why I do things with Vista. That's part of the things I do things in months. I don't do it just because I like to sit in a dark corner and type and type and type and type. I don't do that because I like, I like well, I enjoy doing it anyway. But that, that's, either not the, that's not the point. Some people don't like doing that. And your main trick or the main way of providing, providing things to people is you give them what they need in a way that lets them focus on what's important to them. Right? And that's what Vista can do. That's, what, that's, what you're, the, that's why I'm involved in this. The other thing, oh, go. I'm sorry, I have to go to the next session. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure.